Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and I wanted to do another video showing you some fun things to do with lots of the new wood products that are available for paper crafting. In this one I'm going to show you how to do a die cut window card using some wood paper and then also add some wood veneer embellishments uh, into the holes that you create. So lots of fun stuff here, a few tricks for die cutting and also coloring the wood veneer. So this paper that I've got here is just super thin wood and it's got a backing so it's nice and durable but it is thin enough to do die cutting and this is a die from Simon Says Stamp. It cuts three little uh, rounded square windows. So what I'm going to do is just temporarily adhere this to the piece of paper so I can run it through my die cut machine. I don't want it to shift when I run it through my machine so I'm just going to hold it down with a peach piece of uh, post-it sticky tape here. And I'm putting the die on the back of the paper so that it doesn't leave any indentations on the front. I don't think it will, but just to be safe, I like to put my dies on the back of the paper um, for things like this. So I'm just going to hold it with some post-it sticky tape. Uh, any kind of tape will work here. And I'll run it through my die cut machine. It works with any die cut machine. And I end up with this wood window piece. This was inspired by something I saw my friend Kathy do, and I'm going to link to her on my blog today too. Uh, she used a different, little bit different die and made a completely different card, so I'll link to that also. But I think this wood paper works great for the background of a card because it's gotten lots of nice texture, but it's thin and doesn't add bulk. So now I've got some pieces here. These I've picked out from Prima. There's a lot of great wood, vene wood veneer products out there. I love them from Studio Calico and Freckled Fawn, and this is from Prima. And I like these little box sets. They've got all different kinds of embellishments in here. It's a really good price. I'm going to use some from here today. And that's what I used here. But I decided I wanted to use a little bit of color on them. So I'm going to add a little bit of color before I add them to my cards. So I'm using Copic markers. Now you could use any markers for this. Um, I like Copic markers because they blend nicely and there's lots of good colors. But you can use any markers. And you can actually get blending on this wood with other markers also. So I'm just coloring on here. Now this isn't, there isn't too much texture that it will damage the tip of your Copics. Um, Copics are very um, durable, so you don't have to worry. But with other markers, you want to be careful not to be too rough here and damage the tip of your markers. Instead of brushing like I am here, you could instead just dab the tip of the marker onto it and add great color that way. And I've done it with other markers also. So I'm just going to kind of add some blending here um, to just get some depth to the flowers. Now I'm using some Copics again on my, um, uh, my little leaves here. Uh, the colors I'm using here are YG23 and YG17. Um, Those are my favorites. On that flower back there I used R22 and R24. Now I've colored all my flowers and my leaves and I'm going to use my powder tool here to just brush, um, make sure there's no static. And I'm going to stamp with Versamark here and then use white embossing powder to white heat emboss. I think the white heat embossing looks really cool against the wood background. Now for that uh, blue flower, by the way, I used, uh, let's see, BG13 and BG49. But you could use any markers again. So now that I've stamped this greeting with Versamark ink, I'm just going to add my white embossing powder. And I didn't have any problems heating this wood paper. It seemed to be fine. But my tip is to just kind of hold your heat gun out pointing at nothing till it gets nice and hot and then bring it to your paper so you don't spend too much time heating the paper but it didn't do any kind of damage to the paper so you should be fine with any heat gun and there you can see the nice crisp white against the wood background now to add the little embellishments I wanted them to look like they were kind of peeking out from the uh, little window that I created here so I added that wood piece with some foam dots onto the front of a white Hero Arts note card just so there's some dim dimension to the windows and I'm putting glossy accents to hold my wood veneer pieces here and I'm just going to tuck the leaves in underneath the wood and then add the flowers on top so I'm going to use a foam dot under here and then it will also rest on top of the leaf that I have. I'm putting some glossy accents on the foam dots and on the wood veneer itself just so that I can be sure that it doesn't come, across, come off in the mail. Now this one will be a little bit thicker with all this wood, um, these wood embellishments that I'm adding. The paper isn't thick, but these wood embellishments have a little thickness to them. So I will put this in a padded envelope when I stick it in the mail. So I'm just going to tuck some more under here and add these other flowers on top. Now I'm kind of moving these around with the glossy accents. I didn't use a ton of glossy accents, but if you are unsure about where you want to position them, I would just use glue dots and foam dots 
and then stick them all down and then go back and kind of squirt some glossy accents underneath to make sure they stay in place. But that way you can move them while you're trying to get the positioning just right and then go back and add the secure adhesive. So here I have these enamel dots. These are from my mind's eye. There are also some over here on the left. The blue and yellow ones are from basic gray. I love enamel dots. I think they're a great accent. And just to be sure that they stay put, I'm going to add them with some glossy accents also. So I'm just going to pick out which size works best here. And I'm going to put these down. And that glossy accents just helps to make sure they stay put. Now these enamel dots aren't too thick, so they won't add too much thickness, but if you wanted to not add any more, you could also just punch, punch some shapes from cardstock and add them to the center and maybe put a tiny bit of glossy accents on top of them to make them shine, if you'd rather do that instead. Now I decided I wanted this to have an exclamation mark. I don't know why, I just thought it'd be fun. So I'm using my white Signo pen. It works great on the wood paper also. So I also added a few uh, more little enamel dots in the openings on the windows. So there you have a fun card that you can create using wood paper, which is nice and thin, and you can die cut it easily, and also the wood veneer embellishments. You can add some color to them, too. If you have any questions, please visit my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.